Hey, how's everyone doing? Okay, welcome back. All right, so these, um, where is our includes PHP session session PHP? Let's go ahead and grab these forms right here. Let's go ahead and plug them into the necessary files inside of our root folder in our CMS. So I'm gonna go back and let's just start with our new underscore info dot PHP, and we'll open this up. I got our new underscore info dot PHP right here. Find selected page. And let's go ahead and uh, take this, plug it in right there. That's the uh, that's the um, uh, functionally created to kick somebody out if they do not have the correct session. So we can save that. But we're missing something. We are missing our sessions.php file. We we got to source it in. Require once includes session. Again, was it session or sessions? Session, singular. Okay, so we can save that. Save it just like that. Let's go ahead and open up our delete underscore page dot PHP file. We can close out our new underscore info now. Pull this up. Delete underscore page. I'm gonna do the <clears throat> repeat the same process. And copy and paste your uh, function. Got mine right here. Let's go ahead and copy this. Session. Save that, we can close this out. <clears throat> you can keep one of these pages open too, so you can keep grabbing this, your session.php file, and your uh, your function right here. I'm gonna close it out. Our next page is content.php, let's open this up. Content.php, scroll up to the top. Paste it to save time for the video, so this video might be kinda glitchy, but just understand um, I'm pretty much just repeating the same process and then our find selected page let's put that down there we'll save that oh, that's not the function we're looking for we already have that function we'll go ahead and plug that in just like that. Save that. We can close out our content.php PHP page, which is our next page, faculty.php page. This should have everything on it because this was kind of, yep. Pull this down a little bit. Confirm login. We already had it there. I knew that. Uh, where is our next page? Index.php, our front end. This is what our visitors are going to be looking at. Okay, we'll pull this up here. Let's go ahead and index is good because it's our front end. There's no admin users. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're an admin user or, or a customer or a client. Uh, you're not logging into our index page. So we can close that out. And let's go to our login.php page. Can't remember if this has the correct. Okay. Okay, we can close this out. Login's good. I want to save. Did I make a change? Yeah, I'll we'll save. Uh, where was our next page? Log out. Uh, don't even worry about that because we haven't really even done anything with that except our basic HTML. New underscore fact. Let's go up to the top. This we need our sessions. Copy that. Session. PHP. And you probably have <clears throat> our function close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Control Z, what happened? Okay. Log in, let me look at this. Okay, looking good. Drop that down the line, we'll indent that. So this PHP tag doesn't get confused with something at the end of here. So we know that this is all the way down there. We'll save that. We can close this. Next file is create underscore info. We're going to definitely need this function right here. Create underscore info. Go up to the top. All right, business as usual. 
session <clears throat> dot php let's grab our function our security session function that looks pretty darn good we can save that let's close that or is our next page edit underscore info dot php textmate scroll up to the top okay same as before nothing's new session and where is my function save that I'll pull this up a little bit okay give that a space save that edit underscore info looks good um, edit to underscore info I don't even know what that was it's probably a page I messed up on we'll go to delete underscore information let's go ahead and grab this copy and paste it session.php let's open up our session function put it in there save that again I'm gonna give this another break because my code is sloppy sorry about that we can close delete underscore information form underscore functions um, I don't think so Let's get this here functions page is not going to need any um, header or redirect or um, sessions or cookies or any of that stuff so we can close up that we're good there edit underscore page I actually didn't think I had this in the wrong spot wrong spot this might have been in our includes folder maybe I have them both maybe I have this file in our includes folder and just in our root folder as well edit underscore page we're definitely going to need to do it here open it up in the external browser I don't know why I can't figure out why it does it sometimes sometimes it doesn't again business as usual I'm pretty sure you guys are extremely annoyed with this video but I want to make sure that we're all on the same page and let's grab our um, sessions fun function sorry we'll save that good there edit underscore page looks good page form definitely again external browser never gonna learn um no because this is a page we sourced in but again we are passing information so let's go ahead and make sure every single one of our files inside our CMS is properly um, has proper security except pretty much our index.php index.php file because that's pretty much just for the front end and let's go ahead and grab our link here let's look at this page looks good if our is set is new page uh new page then what what was i wanted to execute if not set then this needs to be set to false i don't know why i didn't execute um, this argument in this php function right here false and we can go ahead save that just like that hopefully that's not going to bring up any problems later let's close our page underscore form dot php and our final page new underscore page let's open this up external browser could have guessed that to the top go ahead and do what we've been doing except it's not connect and let's grab our function it doesn't look right because it's missing a less than sign nope come on text mate you with me or against me there it is okay that is all the files in our CMS that needed to have this uh, session.php file uh, and that included our function that we created that would redirect someone back to our longed page if they did not have the correct session so I think that's it alright guys good luck with that uh, that was just what I told you guys to do but I wanted to do a video on it just so I could walk you through it 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this video is not 20 minutes long. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's get working on our logout page.